How is it going guys? Today I'm going to show you how I made a cool 3D looking effect in my latest product commercial. Okay, so that was the product commercial and now let me explain what I have actually done. So basically what I did, I placed 2D object in 3D space in After Effects. Then I orbit the camera around my 2D objects. I rotate every object on a Y axis in 360 rotation. So when the camera is orbiting around my objects, the objects are always facing to the camera and this will create that cool 3D look. <laughs> Now I'm going to show you step by step how I did it in After Effects. So in After Effects I'm going to import all the clips. So the apple, the bottle and the ginger. Okay, so the next step I'm going to create a new composition. I'm going to name it ginger shot. Okay. Now I'm going to place all the clips to the composition. Now I'm going to create a camera, so right click new camera, ok. Now I'm going to make all the three layers 3D, yeah. So now when I move with the camera, you can see that we have a 3D space and in that 3D space we have our 2D objects. So now I can move the apple to left side and the ginger to right side and again when I move with my camera you can see the 2D objects are in 3D space. Next step I'm going to create a null, a null object. I'm going to make a null object 3D as well. And now when I switch it to two views you can see my null object, my camera and all the layers from the top. Ok, so now I'm going to connect the camera to the null object. So now when I rotate the Y axis on the null object, it's going to orbit the camera around my objects. Now I'm going to click on a stopwatch to create the first keyframe go to the end and I'm going to rotate it one time. So now you can see the camera is orbiting around the objects. So now to get this cool 3D look we have to rotate all the three layers on the Y axis. So I'm going to select all the layers, press the R button and now press the stopwatch on the Y axis go to the end and now type number one so it's going to rotate one time around the y-axis so now when i press the play button we get this nice 3d look now you can play with the position of your object so for example first i'm going to actually make them smaller so I'm going to select all the layers, press the S button and now scale it down something like this, ok. Ok, so this looks now cool. Ok, so now I'm going to create the background, so new solid. In the effects window I'm going to search for a ramp gradient ramp yeah i'm going to put it on my background and now i'm going to change it to radial ramp okay i'm going to change the color to kind of orange more orange 
RNG, yeah, like this. And the second color, yeah, let's say something like this. Okay, so now I can duplicate my apple layer. Move it to right side. Now I can select my ginger layer. Move it to somewhere here and then duplicate the ginger layer and bring it to the front. Okay, so now when I play the animation or the video, Oh yeah! So now you can play with the position of your layers to make it look something like this. Okay, now to get the nice depth, we are going to enable the depth of field in our camera options. So depth of field, turn it on. Okay. Nothing is happened because we have to change the focus distance. So we need to bring the focus distance to our subject. Yeah, somewhere here. Okay, so now you can increase your blur level. Yeah, and you see we have a nice depth in our animation. So now when I play it, oh yeah, it looks really really cool and realistic okay so this is basically it guys you can do whatever you want you can <laughs> for example select all the ingredients or all the fruits just duplicate then bring them up then duplicate them again then bring them down and you have a really cool kind of animation okay guys so this is it for today if you like it don't forget to press the like button and a subscribe button if you are going to use this technique in some of your project let me know send it to me or tag me in your post or reels or whatever i would love to see it Thank you and see you in the next one.